we're going to talk about next is how to add and subtract polynomials. To be able to do this, we need to uh, come up with a little example here. Uh, to add and subtract polynomials, basically what we're going to do, once we get rid of some parentheses, we're going to combine like terms. Uh, there are two different types of like terms, same variables with the same exponents, and also constants. So we could have this category to have like terms, or this category. If you look, here are some examples of things that are like terms. So since we have x squared and x squared, we can add those two together. x and x, we can add those together. y and y, we can add those together. Things that are not like terms. x squared and x, those are not like terms, so you cannot add them together. A constant and a variable, you cannot add together. And then this is a tricky one, x squared y and xy squared. The reason those are not like terms is because x's exponent is 2 here, y's exponent is 1, x's exponent is 1, y's exponent is 2. So to be like terms, the same variables with the same exponents, or of course, two groups of constants will also work. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't uh, add some polynomials. Uh, a good little habit to get into, anytime you have parentheses in a polynomial, what you can do is get rid of those parentheses, and you can do that by distributing the coefficient. So the coefficient of this parentheses is 1, so that will give us negative 9x to the third, plus 7x squared, minus 5x, plus 3. Coefficient of this parentheses is also 1. It may look pretty uh, elementary to be able to do this, because all you really have to do is combine like terms, but this will definitely help with subtraction here in just one second. So now we're looking for like terms. Like terms, same variables, same exponents. Those are like terms. Those are like terms. Those are like terms. And then lastly, those are like terms. So all we're going to do is put together the like terms. Remembering uh, when you combine like terms, all you're going to do is you're going to add the coefficients together. The base and the exponent will stay the same. So this plus this will give me 4x to the third. And then this plus this will give me a positive 9x squared. And then this plus this is negative 13x. And then this plus this will give me negative 3. So as you can see, uh, we have added these polynomials together. This was a four-term polynomial with a degree of 3, so that would be called a cubic four-term polynomial. This is a cubic four-term polynomial, and our answer was a cubic four-term polynomial. The leading coefficient, as you can see, is positive 4. Now, the reason I brought up how to get rid of parentheses in the last example is because it helps when you're doing subtraction. Obviously, this one isn't missed very often, but this one is. So we're going to go ahead and distribute the coefficient, and that will give us 7x to the third, minus 8x squared, plus 9x, minus 6. Well, the coefficient of this is one, negative 1. So when we distribute that, it changes all of the signs of the polynomial that follows that. And now we can combine like terms. Again, we'll find some like terms, this and this, this and this. This and this, and then lastly, this and this. All right, so combining like terms, what we'll do is we'll say that we put these two together, and it will give us 5x to the third. This and this will give me a negative 2x squared. This and this will give me a 12x. And then lastly, my two constants I can combine to give me 15. Again, a four-term polynomial has a degree of 3, so it's a cubic four-term polynomial with leading coefficient 5, and that's what it looks like in standard form.